Okay, so I thought I'd record the odometer reading of the commander before uh, changing the lead acid batteries to uh, lithium. So it's currently at 6,640.6 kilometers. So now it's time to change the batteries. All right, so now that I've finished building the lithium ion battery packs, I can take out the uh, lead acid batteries from the commander. So originally the commander has eight batteries, but uh, when I purchased it, four were you know, practically dead. So I only put four back in uh, in order to have it uh, functional. So here on the passenger side, there's uh, three batteries. Underneath the driver's seat, uh, normally there's two. Um, so uh, only one left. In the back here, originally there was a battery. Uh, there's none now and I don't plan on putting any there because it's quite exposed to the elements. Um, what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, putting two lithium ion batteries here in the place of these two. One more uh, here, which is uh, behind the console. Um, so yes, there is originally a battery here. So I'll be putting a lithium ion battery here. And another one in the front. Now the bracket that was uh, originally with the, the commander was quite uh, lacking. It was only this material here, these bars, holding the battery. I didn't like that, so I had a friend of mine make a much more solid bracket out of uh, galvanized steel. So here you got a piece of wood which is clamping down on uh, a foam material. So this is something that I've, I was able to find. It's uh, rubber on the backing, but it's foam on the front. So this will be, uh, my, since my uh, lithium ion batteries are a little bit more fragile than the, uh, the pieces of lead that were originally in this vehicle, uh, this will um, be able to be, will be much, much more gentle on the batteries. So I'll put that underneath every single battery. So now that we, uh, we have that done, let's start taking out these uh, pieces of lead. Alright, so I've just finished uh, installing the lithium ion batteries into my uh, side by side. Uh, so let's start by the one that was the most difficult, which is the one in the front here. So as you can see, um, with the new bracket, it's uh, held in pretty well. I've got the uh, foam type material uh, all around it, so even under here, as well as in the front. Let's see from underneath here. So, I don't know if you can see that well, but that uh, battery is in place in the front. Uh, so from this side here, I can have access to the balance wires. And the one that's uh, right behind here, behind the console, as you can see, it's installed here. And same thing, I've got access to the balance wires. So let's see from uh, inside the uh, vehicle. Here we have the two other batteries that are under the passenger seat. And uh, I got the balance wires here and here. So the way this is wired, um, on this side is the uh, the pack negative, which is connected to a uh, connection point just over here. So that's the pack negative. On this side, I have the positive of this battery connected to the negative of this battery. And then over here, we have the connection on the positive side of this battery. And this is, I had to make this uh, wire, because uh, what I have, the, all the wires I had weren't quite long enough. So this one's going all the way to the front, to the big battery over here. So this is the wire here that's coming from the battery. So this is a higher gauge. I uh, figured might as well go with higher gauge since it's a longer uh, route. So it's, it's number two. Then we have a wire coming from here, connected to the negative of this battery. And then I go back underneath and back the console here. And I got the positive here, which is connected through a shunt that I, just, I installed to the positive terminal. So let's see if we have the proper voltage. This would be about 49 volts. And so we do have 49.3 volts. So that's good. So uh, everything is connected. Now all I have left to do is reconnect 
the charger uh, slash DC to DC converter, the vehicle won't run without this. So let's, I'll put this back into position, plug it in, and then we can do our first try with the new batteries. So the DC to DC converter has now been reconnected and technically the car should be able to turn on. So let's try it out. And we have contact. So that looks good. Now obviously uh, the fuel gauge is indicating a little low, but the batteries are in charge. So you can see 49.1 volt on here. Um, so that's within uh, expectation. And let's just uh, see if I, what happens if I put it in gear. I just put it in reverse. And let's give it a little bit of gas, well, accelerator just to see. And it works. It's moving. So that's a good sign. Everything seems to be operational. I will put everything back together, or at least I'll put the driver's seat back in, uh, mount the uh, charger properly, and then we can go take it for a little spin.